Hello, I'm James Jones. I work for Beverage and Sons Property Services. Been installing batteries for three years now. Um, we've installed all different types of models and makes of batteries. Um, but today we're going to be looking at the Pure Drive Energy Pure Storage 2 AC10. Um, with this battery, it comes in one box, so it makes it one of the easier batteries to install on the market. Now that we've opened the box, we can have a look at what we do have inside. Um, I can see we've got an installer's guide straight away. Um, seems to be all in colour when we open it up. It seems to be clearly going through with pictures what you need to do when you install. Going all the way through the book with the looks of it. And then on the front page there, we've got a what's in the box list. Um, we can run through what's in the box now. Um, Obviously got our user manual there and our installer's guide. Uh, we've got our wall mount bracket, uh, six expansion bolts back there, two black side panels, 18 black side panel screws, and five shoulder bolts which fit to the battery. Um, we've also got two CT clamps there. So let's have a look what we need to mount the uh, fuel drive system onto the wall. All you'll need is a bracket to fit the actual battery onto the wall to make sure that your wall is load bearing. Um, also use the expansion uh, bolts that are also provided with the kit. Um, if you were to be floor mounted with the battery, uh, the height is 1150. Um, if you do need to bring it any higher, you just need to extend off the measurement that you've got with it. So this is what the battery looks like when it's been installed onto the wall itself. Um, if you want to come closer, look at the termination. Um, so what we've got is we've got an Ethernet point which is uh, installed at the bottom here. The top ones are your mains. Uh, the next ones along are your criticals in case you have critical circuits. And the other two are your CT clamps which monitor the incoming grid and the solar coming in. Okay, so now the cables have been installed and terminated, uh, we'll go through a sequence of how we're going to turn on the battery. Um, two battery buttons here, press these first, inverted button after, and then we'll turn the main AC isolator on as well. To complete the install, we need to test the battery and then get the homeowner on the app. To do that, you need to download the Pure Drive app. Then put your username and password in. You can see I've got two options, test the battery and register the homeowner. Registering the homeowner enables them to see their battery remotely. Let's test the battery first. You do that by clicking start a charge cycle. This puts a full charge and discharge on the battery for two minutes so you can have a good look and see how everything is working. You can do that as many times as you like until you are happy everything is working well. To register the homeowner, you need to fill all the details here and press submit. The homeowner should then receive an email to register with a temporary login and password and then gets an option to put their own password. Once completed, they have access to their apps. Done. It's uh, nice and easy. Really is very simple uh, system to install. I really like it. The company really likes it and it looks great too.